everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name is Shay Love, but you can call me Shay. And today I have a very special video for you guys. Once again, before we get started with this video, make sure you go ahead and like this video because I have a feeling you're gonna like this video. And also, if you haven't subscribed yet, make sure you go ahead and subscribe to my channel. Come join the winning team. Come on. Let's get right into the video. So in today's video, I'm super excited because I'm gonna be using some products that I have never used, and I'm even more excited because these products are extra special because they're from brazil i'm super excited to try these products after a little bit of contemplation i decided to do a wash and go based off of the products that i have which i'm going to introduce to you right now i have two products which are from the same brand and then one product which is from a different brand and i don't know if i'm going to use all three but i'm pretty sure i'm going to use the two that are from the same brand because i think they'll go well together and it just depends where my hair is if i think i need a third product then i'll add the third product but I don't know yet we'll see the first product that i'm going to introduce to you guys is from a brand that i'm not going to try to pronounce i'm going to put the um the brand name across the screen now somewhere i don't know where i'm gonna put it but i'm gonna put the brand name across the screen and i looked them up on instagram and they're pretty well known like they have a million followers so i don't know i feel like that's a good sign like people really like their products so i'm very excited to try this and y'all went through and translated everything because <laughs> i don't i don't speak portuguese so i went through and translated everything this is called the apple cider vinegar frizz control curl activator and with this product it says that it's vegan it's specifically for type three through four curls it says that at the bottom like here if you guys can see that it's for type three through four curls it has no sulfates no silicones no parabens no minerals and a few other things but those are the things that i translated <laughs> and y'all let me tell you something because this is how you know i'm dumb because i went through on this thing and i translated everything like translated literally everything on this bottle when there's a whole bar of directions in english right here i was sick when i saw that but it's okay because it's not okay but <laughs> So this second product is from the same exact brand that the first one was. This is what it looks like. This packaging is so nice, you guys. Like The colors are so nice on this packaging. And this one is a curl definer. And it also is called like Black and Power. So period. And it's specifically for um, type 4 curls. Which it says right there. It's for extra curly and transitioning hair. So for all my followers that's transitioning... Apparently they got you. This one is also vegan, like the first one, and it's the same with all the um, not having sulfates or silicones, minerals, parabens, and all that good stuff. So that is a great sign. All right, and this last product is from a completely different brand. It says Lola Cosmetics, I believe. It's called the My Curl My Life. Yeah, I believe that's that's My Curl My Life, and it's a jelly gel. Um, it's also vegan and doesn't have any sulfates, but I don't know you guys because I already have a curl activator and a curl definer and I'm doing like a dry wash and go so I don't know if I'm going to need the gel but if I feel like I need a little more definition then I'll try to put the gel on top. So let's get right into it. Alright you guys so I'm going to start by detangling my hair. I'm just going to spray some water to help me in that process. So I'm going to detangle from the end. All the way up to the root and I think I might need a trim soon because my ends have been a little bit unruly so if you look at my ends and they look a little messy I'm gonna trim my hair soon so don't worry about it <laughs> yo I feel like I just ran a marathon trying to do that natural hair is a workout <coughs> All right, now that everything is detangled, I'm gonna go ahead and get started with my first section. Okay, so I'm gonna get this started with the apple cider vinegar curl activator right here. And the directions basically say to apply the product on moist hair from the root all the way to the tip and then detangle with a comb. I don't know, I don't, I don't know if I'm gonna do that part. Then press your hair against itself to create curls. I'm not sure I know what that means, but I'm gonna I think I'm just gonna apply this like how would how I would apply any other product. 
but I'll try the comb. So here's what my hair looks like right now without any of these products in it. I'm going to take it little by little and then gradually build it up. So this is how much I'm taking to start out. I don't know what it smells like, but it smells good. It doesn't smell like apple cider vinegar, so I'm happy about that. <laughs> it smells good though. So I'm going to apply this and then I'll take a wide tooth comb. Might as well do it how they said to do it. And then smooth it. And I guess this could mean push your hair against itself by doing like the prayer hands method. Okay. My curls seem to be activating, so I'm not mad at it. <laughs> so I think that did its job. I feel like my curls are activated, so I'm happy with that one so far. Now let's get into this curl definer. So here it is. Um, the directions say to apply on clean, moist hair, strand by strand, evenly from about an inch from the root to the tip. Detangle with a comb and press your hair against itself to create curls. Okay. This does not look how I was expecting it to look. I was expecting this to be more of like a gel instead of definer, but it's a cream. This is how much I'm taking to start. I'm gonna apply it from one inch from the root all the way to the end. And this is supposed to be a curl definer, so I'm hoping once I let this go, I'll see some definition. Let me use my comb. So I know personally, um, using a comb usually makes it like my hair frizz up, so I'm going to apply a little bit more and not use the comb. <laughs> Ooh, okay. Okay. So this is giving me some definition, definitely, without a doubt. I think I want a teeny bit more definition, so I think I'm going to try out the gel on top to see if that gives me any. So the directions for this one was to put it on your palms, distribute from bottom up, and um, shape your hair with your hands and then spray with water as you go if it's drying. So it's pretty thick, it's not dripping, like it's not going down, but it also is definitely a lot thinner than like Eco Styler, so we'll see how good the hold is. I'm gonna go from the bottom up and see if this gives me a little more hold. And that was only a little bit, so I'm probably, like, definitely going to add some more. Okay, yeah, that definitely gave me some definition. Alright, so my first section is finished, I believe. I think so. Alright you guys, I'm halfway done and this is what my hair is looking like. It definitely has some volume. It's pretty puffy and just as I suspected, it's not really giving a super super defined hold. But the curl definition is there as you can see. I also have a little bit of white residue so I'm nervous to see if that dries clear. I hope it does. I'm going to go ahead and finish the other side and then I'll come back when I'm done. Alright guys, I know you can barely see me. But, I have officially finished this wash and go, and now I just have to let it dry. Um, so far, I actually, I actually really like these products. I'm going to see what this looks like when it dries, but I, um, I think they definitely do their job. My curls are activated, and it did provide me with curl definition. Um, I think this would be a little bit better if I was doing a twist out or braid out or something like that, where there's like... A form to hold the curls because I don't know if they're gonna really hold my curls in, the, in itself but I have a feeling this is gonna be like a nice fro with like some curls throughout so I'm excited to see how it turns out the only thing I'm worried about right now is the white residue I'm hoping that that dries clear but if it doesn't that's no fault of the products I did mix two products from two different brands so um I won't blame these products but I really like the way they feel in my hair they smell really good I'm excited I want to try them again on like a twist or a braid out and see how they come out and yeah so um I'll come back when it's dry so I'm back and I let my hair air dry for a few hours but it's not 
all the way dry yet um i'd say it's about like 70 percent dry right now i'm gonna go ahead and dry this with a blow dryer with the diffuser so that i can go ahead and speed up this process i let it air dry for quite a bit it's mostly just damp at the root but as you guys can see most of it is dry because the white stuff has pretty much gone away which is exciting because i was really scared and then once my hair is 100 percent or like 90 percent dry with the diffuser i'm gonna go ahead and style it and then i'll come back and show you guys what it looks like and give you guys my final thoughts on the products and everything else so i'm gonna go ahead and start getting this dry process out the way all right you guys i am back and i am better um to be completely honest i am in love with how my hair looks right now like i am so happy with how this came out and i'm even more happy with the way it turned out just because this has opened my eyes <laughs> this the way my hair has come out reminds me a lot of what my hair looks like when it's just like when i just let it be well, I don't really ever let it be, but if I was to just like wash my hair and then put some leave-in conditioner in it and then just let it dry, this is pretty much about the way it would look, except there's a little bit more definition. And going through this process has really reminded me of how much I alter my hair's natural texture and how little of time that I actually spend seeing what my hair actually looks like which is kind of crazy. So this has really been an eye opener for me and it has allowed me to see like how I've been able to style my hair as it looks naturally, like actually naturally and that I actually do like the way it looks. As you guys can see, it's not super, super defined but you can see some of my curls. It has a good amount of definition in the back, if you can believe that. like. In the back the curls are really popping throughout like you can still see what my curls look like all i did really was like pick it out a little bit and that was it like i wasn't stretching it or nothing and then i just kind of shaped it like this this is the way my haircut is naturally but i made it a little more dramatic and kind of like pushed it in the bottom i rarely ever see my hair like this i think that's kind of wild like my hair is always either in a, um, a braid out or a twist out or in some sort of like slick back type of thing I've done wash and goes in the past, but I really don't do them that often. And when I have done them, they've been like a super, super max hold. So I've been like trying to make it lay as flat as possible. But to be completely honest, if I let my hair just do what it naturally does, this is pretty much what it would look like. Just with a little more accentuation of my curls. So I'm actually really happy with how this has turned out. It's given me a even more appreciation for what my hair looks like naturally. And I don't even think you guys have ever really seen my hair like in a natural, natural state, like dry at least. So I'm happy that you guys are able to see this process. Um, I think if I wanted a more defined look, these products would be really good for a braid out or a twist out. I'm happy with the way this turned out. It's kind of opened my eyes to a way to really appreciate what my hair actually looks like. Because this is kind of like what I used to run away from when I was younger. Like when I was first learning to style my natural hair, I was really like, I hated the way my hair looked naturally. So I would do like a whole bunch of different things to it, add a whole bunch of different products to try to make it look like, I don't know, uniform, or like something that people would like to see. So yeah, ugly, don't drag me on. I was, <sighs> it happens to the best of us. But I'm out of that now and I just am so mad at myself for not taking the time to really like style and learn to appreciate and love the way my hair looks naturally naturally i'm really happy with how this turned out you guys like i'm ready to take some pictures and post them on instagram and show you guys my results but i need to post this video first so i'm gonna save those um but yeah thank you guys so much for watching i am so happy with my results and i hope you guys enjoyed coming with me along this process yeah i think that's gonna be it for this week's video thank you guys so so much for watching i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you want to see updates on my hair make sure you go ahead and follow me over on instagram that's at shay.butta that's c-h-a-e dot b-u-t-t-a follow me on there for more um regular updates on my hair and just my life and what i'm doing and yeah i hope everybody's staying safe and healthy throughout this time and yeah 
Thank you guys for all your support and views and likes and comments and just interacting with me and being kind to me. I appreciate you guys so, 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 so much. I hope you guys know that. All right, um, that's going to be it, and I'll see you guys in my next video.